Hello and welcome to Coders column. My name is Sunny Solanki and in today's video I will explain you how to improve the look and feel of your boring matplotlib charts with just one line of code. If you have created charts using matplotlib then you know that default matplotlib charts looks quite boring. They have simple white background, there are no grades, the font size for the axis labels, titles, ticks are same, same default blue color for points and bars and so on. It's not that pleasing to look at. So in today's video, I will explain how to improve the look of your matplotlib charts that looks something like this to something like this. And we will do it with just one line of code. So without further ado, let's jump to my screen and improve the look of our matplotlib charts. Alright, as you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open and this whole tutorial will be in Jupyter Notebook. So let's go ahead. So first of all, I have imported matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system. So you can use this version or any latest version and the code in this tutorial will work with all the versions. Majority of the latest version it will work because there is not much change in the code that we are going to introduce in last few versions. So let's go ahead. Now, first of all, I have imported a data set uh, that we will use to create charts. So I have imported a wine data set and this data set is available from a Python library named scikit-learn. So it's a famous uh, ML library and it has this data set named wine data set. It has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine. So there are uh, various ingredients like magnesium alcohol total phenols flavonates and so on and rows are what is the measurement of those ingredients and the last column is wine types so there are three different types of wine class 0 class 1 and class 2 and this is very commonly used data set in machine learning so this is the data set we will use to create our charts now i have created one more data frame so i have loaded that data set as pandas data frame now over here I have created one more data frame from our wine data frame. So let me execute this cell and show you the result. So over here I have average values of those ingredients which are over here based on wine type. So I have grouped entries based on wine types. So there are three wine types class 0, 1 and 2. And then I have called mean function. So I have average values of ingredients per wine type. So these two data frame we will use to create our charts. So let's move on and create charts. Now, okay, so we'll create a three chart, scatter chart, group bar chart, and stack bar chart. So over here, I have already included the code for our scatter chart. So I have created a simple scatter chart showing relationship between alcohol and malic acid. So let me execute this cell and show you the result. All right, so you see, this is the default matplotlib chart, scatter chart, and it as i said in the introduction it looks quite boring because the size of the axis font size of the axis lever it takes and all are same point color is again the default blue and there is a simple white background so yeah so let's go ahead and create a one more chart which is a group bar chart so this chart i have created from our average wine df pandas data frame so the first one was created from wine df and this one is created from average wine df so this is created using pandas plotting api if you are not aware then pandas also let us create a chart from uh, pandas data frame directly and we can create chart with just one line of code so let me execute this cell and show you the result so here we have our group bar chart now i have created a group bar chart showing average values of this selected ingredients for wine type so over here we have wine type and on y axis we have average value of this selected five ingredients for wine type okay and yeah as, as you can see this one looks quite boring as well and let's go ahead and create a third bar chart which is stack bar chart so uh, i have created stack bar chart showing average values of this selected ingredient for wine type so this is same as our group bar chart over here we have made only one change which is i have 
I have called this parameter stacked and set it to true. So let me execute this one and show you how it looks. Yeah, so now we have our three chart ready. This one is a stacked chart, stacked bar chart. So as you can see, all these three looks uh, quite uh, boring or simple. So how we can improve the look of this chart? So let's go ahead and do that. So I will, uh, so matplotlib let us specify particular theme for the charts. And in order to specify theme, there is a uh, method name use which is available from style submodule of our pyplot uh, submodule okay and over here we can specify st string and through this string we say we can specify various theme names so there are many different themes available like cborn ggplot2 pi38 and there are many different themes and this theme uh, can change many things like background colors tick label font sizes access label font sizes and many things so for our first chart uh, let me use a c bond theme so if you are not aware of c bond it's a very famous uh, uh, library which is built on the top of a matplotlib and it is used for statistical analysis and it has its theme so i want to use the theme of c bond in my plots so once i execute this cell so once i have called this line now all the charts that follow or that gets executed after this particular line will have c bond theme so let me copy my previous code of scatter chat and let me execute it now so same code we just executed this line and let me show you now how it looks yeah so yeah now you see this one look quite better so with just one line of code we were able to add like background color there is a grid and so on so let's go ahead and try few more themes which are available so if you want to know like how many themes are available so you can print available attribute of a style submodule so let me show you so these are the list of themes which are available so there is a 538 there is a ggplot seaborn pastel seaborn dark and so on so let's go ahead and try one more uh, theme which is quite famous so what i will do i will copy our line over here now i will set it to 538 so let me set it to 538 and execute it now 538 is a very famous blog which regularly publishes uh, various statistical analysis tutorials or uh, they generally analyze the data and create charts explaining various concepts so you can go and visit their website and they have a particular theme so we will be using their theme for our charts so let me copy our chat again and all right so let's execute and yeah now this chart has a theme of 538 as you can see the labels of axis are little bigger the title size is font size is bigger and there is a font uh, point color is quite different from this one so let's go ahead and modify our two other charts as well so let me execute this one and see how our group bar chart looks now so, right so so we already executed over here plt.style.uses538 and all the charts that execute after this line will have this theme so look at this this one looks now quite better compared to our previous group chart this one looks quite better there is grids there are properly uh, properly named uh, axis labels and ticks and, and the font size are very nicely selected and you can see the bar colors are quite different from our original uh, group chart you can see our original group chart has this color so this themes also changes the color of the glyphs they changes colors of points and bars and so on so if you see uh, the bar color over here is different from the one below so let's go ahead and check how the stack bar chart looks right so let me execute stack bar chart code and yeah now this one looks quite better as well so yeah you see with just one line of code this 
we were able to improve the look of our all chats so uh, now as i said at the earlier that uh, once we execute this line all the charts that we create after this line will follow this theme but let's say that you want to use theme for one particular chart only so you can do that using context manager so uh, you can use uh, python with statement context manager and there is a method named plt.style.context and over here you can specify whatever theme you want to use so let's say i want to use ggplot this time now i need to include the color uh, need to include the code for my chats in this context so i will what i will do i will copy my chatter plot code over here and now this will be created with using ggplot theme so let me execute this and show you all right so now you as you can see this is created using ggplot now if i uh, execute this code outside of uh, uh, context so let me execute this now you see this one is created using our pi38 uh, theme which we had set earlier so if you want to set uh, using this one like if you want to use uh, theme for particular chart only then you can use context manager so let's go ahead and try it for our uh, group then stack bar charts so let's go ahead and copy this one let's see how our group bar chart looks with ggplot2 all right let's execute this cell yeah and now you see this one also looks quite better compared to our default chart over here also the colors of the bars are selected based on the theme of ggplot2 so let's see how our stacked bar chart looks in this context so let me copy this one and let's use ggplot2 so let's see how our stack bar chart looks ggplot2 yeah look quite better interesting so let's try one more and one last theme for our stack bar chart and uh, group bar chart so i want to try last c bone i want to see how the chart looks with c bone all right so this one also looks better you can see uh, like all the themes are doing a good job at modifying the charts Ch after just applying this one line our chart looks quite better compared to the default charts let's go ahead and see how our stack bar chart looks all right yeah this one looks quite better as well yeah so yeah that's it for the tutorial so here is the summary of our tutorial so we explained two methods which we can use to specify theme and it will totally transform the look of your microlib chat first one was uh, use which will permanently set the theme and all the charts that gets created after call to this line will be using this theme and if you want to use context manager and if you want to use theme for particular chart only then you can use context manager using context method so yeah that's it for the day if you liked our video then give it a thumbs up and if you want to learn more about matplotlib and python and author data visualization libraries then i would recommend that you visit our website code column so yeah see you next time